Okay, because tomorrow is the new season for Fortnite, Epic has teased us with a complete cinematic trailer, and it looks really good. It is a minute, minute 30 seconds. I will be breaking it down and showcasing it to you guys. First, I'll just play it for, you know, I'll just let it run, have you guys watch it through, and then afterwards, I will break it down. Enjoy. Okay, that is our that is the name of the new season, Last Resort. This is gonna be a very, very interesting season. I'm very excited for it. Okay, so now I'm gonna complete I'm gonna completely restart it and I'm gonna break it down. I'm gonna slow it down a bit. Sorry, I I had to pause the video for a second. I'm gonna slow it I slowed down the video, so we're gonna break it down like that. And it's just gonna yeah, that way we can see uh, small little details um, that kind of showcase little gameplay features. So, let's watch. So again, we have the clips right there. So actually, tell me that doesn't look like the Rift Gate. Tell me that doesn't look like a f futuristic version of the Riftgate. Because people think that that new POI is going to take over the Citadel. Like, it's going to completely replace the Citadel. And if that's true, that means that is the Riftgate. That is the Riftgate. That was built literally in the first season of this chapter. Now, I'm going to... Okay, so this dude is is named Kato Thorn. He is going to be pretty much the main protagonist in the storyline of the season. So, yeah, just look out for him. Okay, okay, okay. Every this has flown by every person's head. I have watched countless creators react to this. Not a single person has connected the dots that this is a mystic kinetic blade no one has realized that not even my friends it it's literally the kinetic everyone just thinks it's a back bling. it's literally just a kinetic blade but orange and red instead of blue and purple so it's probably going to be a mythic or it's going to be a legendary or it's going to be an exotic that spawns all around the map but i am v very very sure that it's going to be a mythic drop by him specifically and in this frame right here the henchman on the left, you can actually see a new type of SMG. This SMG is going to be called the Scoped Burst SMG. Not a lot of people liked the original one, the, uh, the unscoped one back in Chapter 1. Not a lot of people liked that. But personally, I, I enjoyed it. It feels very accurate, high damage, and shoots four round bursts, which is pretty overpowered. I, I don't understand why people hate it. But uh, yes, let's just, let's just hope the community grows fond to this SMG a lot better than um, the original one. So actually, in this room right here, 
you can see that the mythic goldfish is in one of these display cases. If you and if you saw in the original trailer, the these are you are know, gonna be able to take the items off of these. So unless they're props like that Peely statue, the disc, the egg, and the Oro skull, I'm pretty sure that you're gonna be able to take some stuff that is considered a weapon, like the Mystic Goldfish deals two hundred and what twenty six damage just by throwing it at someone. And yeah, this is I really hope that gets unvaulted because whew, this is probably going to be one of the best seasons we've ever had. This would be Fortnite's comeback if this season does good. So actually, in that frame right here, pizza. It doesn't really look like the pizza box that the pizza item is in, but that still could be a teaser because she is a pizza delivery person. For some reason, she's part of this. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that that'd be cool if uh, they brought pizza back. That's a really good healing item. I hope it makes a return. Suppressed pistol unvault. That's going to be really good. So, two things here. What she's holding and those screens. We might actually get cameras in this building. Like, you might actually be able to walk into a monitoring room and see players walking around between different cameras. That would be an amazing feature. Alright, now what she's about to do here. That is called the Shield Breaker EMP. Not a lot of people really know what it does. Even I. But my, one, my biggest theory is that it's going to disable electronics and shields. It prob It's probably either going to disable player shields or like shield items themselves. Like either the Guardian Shield gets unvaulted, Shield Bubble, you know, those type of items. That's probably what it's going to be the EMP for. But if those don't get unvaulted, or we get like one shield item that gets unvaulted, it would be cool to see this break other people's shield, like their own personal healing. That would that'd be cool. Not really break it, just disable it so it still is on when it's enabled. So that's, that's going to be a really broken item. See, it disables those. Alright, the item she's holding is going to be called the Business Turret. If you can't tell why it's called that, then you have... <laughs> you have like eight brain cells. Um, yeah. So, it's literally a turret that walks on the enemy. It is not going to be that broken. This is for animation purposes, why these guys are getting one-shot by everything. Remember, this is probably going to deal like at least 15 damage per bullet. So, don't have high hopes for this being a high damage really weapon. Right here, right here, big fishy, using the rocket ram item. This will have you hold on to it, and it'll launch you the direction that you're shooting with it. It'll break pretty much any structure in your path. I, I'm pretty sure. I don't know. It's probably gonna have like a a um, limit to it, so probably it can't break full built metal. And, uh, yeah, that's just gonna be a very weird idea. We got Cabby Lame. Cabby Lame in the game. That's awesome. He's actually the... He's gonna be a Battle Pass skin. So he will be the second Icon skin ever to be in a Battle Pass. First one is Neymar Jr. Right here, right here, right here. Midas drum gun. If that doesn't 100% tease the return of Midas, I don't know what. But, here's the thing. This could be, this could be just there only because Kato Thorn is going between real realities and collecting items. So, that's probably the reason why that is there. 
only because he's collected it. It's not because Midas is here and he willingly gave it up, no. So Kato Thorn is apparently a vampire. That does not make any sense. Alright, last resort. Right here, it showcases every Battle Pass skin. We've seen every single one except Ahsoka. That is very random for the cinematic, but I mean, it's okay. So, this is going to be a very good season, just based off all the gameplay mechanics. And then, just the Battle Pass skins themselves are so good. Like, Cabby Lame and Ahsoka being in it just already makes this a really good Battle Pass. And then you have your meme skin, which is the buff fish stick. And then you have the age you have three agents, which is for some reason the pizza girl. The dude in the middle right here. And then you have the gold faced girl with the business turret. Then you have Kato Sorn, the collector, which is gonna be their main storyline character in this battle pass. And then of course they had to add the anime skin. Because it's Fortnite and they have anime lovers. But uh, yeah, I'm going to be posting a video at 3 a.m. tonight of the gameplay trailer. This is the cinematic trailer. They're going to release a gameplay at 3 a.m. And on Sunday, I'm going to be releasing a video of me playing the new season. That is when I'll be getting a new controller because my newest one that I've gotten is not working for some reason, and the one before that is completely broken and unplayable. So, yeah, just look out for those. Hope you enjoyed the video. Bye.